We're about 24 hours from Tesla's highly anticipated fourth quarter earnings release. Wedbush Securities' Dan Ives calling tomorrow's release and subsequent earnings call, quote, one of the most important moments in the history of Tesla and Musk himself. Now, we say that with the caveat. We love Dan, a little prone to hyperbole at times, but it certainly is important for Tesla with their recent vehicle price cuts and year-end delivery numbers likely already priced into the stock. Investors will be focused on how Tesla stacks up against expectations. The street looking for adjusted earnings per share of $1.12 with revenue of $24.1 billion. We'd love to hear more about margins, but we're certainly not in terms of those price cuts. That's really a Q1, maybe even Q2 story down the road, but maybe we hear from Mr. Musk on the Yeah, call. you got to think that an analyst or two are going to ask about that, the impact that it could potentially have on their business when you talk about some of that margin pressure from the price cuts. It also is going to be likely one of the first times CEO Elon Musk faced questions publicly since he abruptly left a Twitter spaces with journalists in mid-December. Just last month, Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas saying in a note to clients today that he expects management to be upbeat about the positive reaction following Tesla's recent price cuts. But Jonas adds that, quote, investors must have confidence that fiscal year earnings have bottomed before seriously revisiting the stock. That process for investors should extend beyond Tesla's March 1st investor day. This is all according to Jonas. So again, a number of things will be unpacked in this earnings report. A lot of it will have to do with the demand side of it. Some of that obviously will likely be maybe uh, helped here with those price cuts. I think it's safe to say that management will likely be hyping up the demand that they have just seen in the last week or so after that. But I think stepping back, talking about the tough backdrop that that Tesla is up against right now, obviously waning demand could have been one of the huge reasons for those price cuts, but also that stiffer competition out there. And we saw a number of other EV makers, a number of the traditional automakers that are in the EV space, their, their stocks under pressure following Tesla's price cut because the thought there is that they might then have to lower prices and put more pressure on their margins as well. So again, I think just a broad takeaway in terms of how strong or how weak this sector is right now and any trends that they could pull out, I think will certainly be a highlight in tomorrow's report. Really just want to hear about demand into this yeah. weakening economy. Um, I'd love to ask him if you had a chance, how much time he is spending at Twitter versus Tesla. It's interesting because he has not been at SpaceX and we've seen, well, the stock literally, the valuation, a rocket ship. We'd like to hear about the Tesla Semi. We'd like to hear about the Tesla the cyber truck. We expect him to be on the call. In the last call he was on, uh, end of Q3, he said, looks like we'll have an epic end of year. I don't know how you define epic, but I think he was spot on about that in terms of the magnitude of the developments for Tesla because they started with the price cuts in China, which were received very poorly. And then once they were really absorbed, they, they performed very well. Same thing here. We heard analysts very critical of those price cuts, but then it's pop demand at North American stores. And so it looks like a win-win there for him. It's going to be a very interesting report. Very fascinating call. Yeah. One question for him? Well, I was going to say, we also haven't even mentioned the cyber truck that might come up, just in that. terms of the plans for there. The semi truck, the additional plants that they have made. Did you mention the cyber truck? I, I mentioned the cyber oh, truck you know, and, you're the, so and much. the semi. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm talking too quickly. I apologize. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I, there's just so much to, to dig into when yeah. it comes to this yeah. report in no terms question. of the headlines that we could get out. A lot of it also has to do with some of those factories, too. Some of their new plants that they have made in Nevada, Mexico, Indonesia, any color there, I think will certainly be something that investors will want to know. And we will have full coverage of Tesla's reports minutes after the release right here on Yahoo Finance Live. Be sure to tune in to our live special here with Brad Smith, Brian Sazi after the earnings call tomorrow evening. You're not going to want to miss that.